I, I want to ask you a, a broader question. I mean, Iraq is, of course, a country at war. I mean, uh, the Islamic State group occupies parts of the country. Yeah. Uh, that rule, as we know, has been particularly vicious for women. Um, how do you think ordinary Iraqis can uh, can resist this? I think they are resisting, especially that people, they are not sending their girls or their boys to schools. This is one of the resisting things. And uh, I think also they are, you know, in communicating with others, you know, outside. Mosul is also a kind of asking for liberating liberating Mosul and themselves from this, you know, darkness uh, forces. So I believe that the day is coming. The day is coming to get, you know, relief from these forces. But of course, the consequences of that, it is great, still great. A huge heritage will, will have, you know, conflict, internal conflict, how to settle people going back to, from the displaced, people from the minorities, that they are not feeling that they are safe in Iraq now. And this is, it is, we have to get, to make, you know, guarantees for these displaced people. Women, the Azidi women who suffered a lot from the sexual slavery from these uh, ISIS and all these things, it is really a, a very, very huge heritage that we are facing and it needs a lot of work. Still, we say we are still survive, but instead of that, we got really the support from the street now. People are, you know, young generations being, you know, uh, in the street now, a, a day on weekly basis, and they are really speaking about civil state. And this is that we feel the achievement that we come, we come in. The new conscience of the new generation, this is, it gives us a lot of hope now, and especially among young, uh, young people and young women also. Well